Hi, my name is Emily Sumner and I am from Southern California. Most of you don't know me as I haven't been able to play in a lot of AJG events. I am so honored to be here as I would have never expected to play in the Polo Golf Junior Classic. There are so many amazing players here and I look up to you all. I'd first like to say thank you so much to the AJJ for giving me the opportunity to play junior golf around the country. I've learned an amazing amount about the world and made lasting friendships with fabulous people. In particular, I'd like to thank Mr. Oscarson for his kindness and thank you to Rosanna Smith and Beth Doctor for their guidance and opportunities afforded to me. Many thanks to the AJJ tournament directors and staff as they're the ones who make our dreams come true. Finally, I would like to say thank you to my family who has supported me in all my endeavors. My mom and dad are the two most supportive people I know as they always tell me I can see the, succeed in any task as long as I set my mind to it. My sister Elise, you're a fabulous golfer and thanks for pushing me to be the best golfer I can be. I love you all so much. I have an extremely rare lung autoimmune condition where protein builds up in my lungs, making it very difficult to breathe and complete activities like a normal person. There are very few patients and doctors who know about this disease, and there's almost no treatment as it is very unpredictable for every patient. I can trace this disease back to eighth grade where I was starting to run significantly slower mile times. By the end of freshman year, my symptoms became much worse. I would cough all the time, especially when laughing or climbing hills while golfing. My sister would often say, why are you breathing so hard? And I had absolutely no idea why, and the doctors I went to didn't either. I lost 20 pounds working hard to breathe as I was burning muscle to replace the calories I had lost. But I love, so gol I love golf so much that I carried on. When I was in Maryland for an AJJ event, I had to withdraw on the first day because my lungs were so filled with protein that I couldn't overcome the steep hills. Walking, hitting, and keeping pace with the other players in my group became much more than I could bear. My oxygen saturation levels were so dangerously low that day that I ended up in the ER in Annapolis Hospital. I was quickly referred to the head of, head of pediatric pulmonology at John Hopkins in Baltimore. I missed my family reunion in New York but thanks to the AJGA, tonight I get to see my East Coast family members as they are here in the audience. After my experience in Maryland, I was diagnosed with PAP in Los Angeles and had surgery in Ohio the week before school started. I was recovering well until the end of October, but then I could feel the symptoms starting to come back. In December, I studied a ton so I could go to the hospital for my second surgery. One week before Christmas, I traveled to a different specialist in Colorado. There, I met with Mr. Steve Park, who has the same disease as me. He has been such an inspiration to me as he told many great st stories of his friends carrying his golf bag while using an oxygen tank. He reinforced the lessons my parents taught me of perseverance through every avenue of life. After the surgery in Colorado, my doctors immediately put me on an experimental medication that has greatly improved my life. For most people, the medicine has, has very limited success in helping them overcome the disease. I am truly fortunate. Before my first surgery, my friend Hannah texted me this Bible verse. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a future and a hope. Jeremiah 29, 11, 12. Though at the time I was questioning God's judgment of why I was chosen to have this disease, I am now confident in him that this was his plan all along. Through the difficult times I faced, I came out as a better person as I realized there are more important things in life, like my family, faith, love, and laughter. My family believes in serving our community and those less fortunate than ourselves. For my own service project, I decided to participate in leadership links to benefit fellow athletes who aspire to play golf in college through the ACE grant program. Through the opportunity opportunity to raise money and run an event, I significantly improved my communication and organizational skills. It was such a great opportunity and I encourage others to try out leadership links. Sportsmanship is also very important to me as it is one of the main golf, golf one of the main values golf was founded upon. My main goal in the golf course is to always have fun, enjoy the people I am with, 
and play with integrity. Without these goals, there would be no purpose in playing golf. When I was sick, I refused to accept any kind of help to play as I felt I would be receiving an advantage other competitors didn't have. I wanted to have an even playing field so everyone had an equal opportunity to perform their best. To me, sportsmanship is not letting your struggles on the golf course define you. It's congratulating your 14-year-old sister when she beats you in a playoff for first place. It's how you present yourself to your fellow competitors. It's who you are on and off the golf course that defines you out long after a round is complete. I'm truly humbled to accept the Jerry Cole Sportsmanship Award as it applies to my character rather than how I perform on the golf course. I strive to do the best I can to show exemplary sportsmanship by showing care, kindness, and responsibility in all that I do. Thank you to all that have supported me through my trials in life, and thank you to the AJJ for making everything possible. Thank you.